Uh, hello, my name is uh, Marina Krasovska. I'm from Latvia's Banka. I'm head of uh, FinTech Supervision Department. And here today I will be uh, talking uh, with uh, colleagues from other NCEs and other central banks about the SAFTEC strategy and innovation within uh, supervi supervision body. So uh, it is very important that we as a regulatory also aim to introduce technology within our regulatory work uh, and to make with a target uh, to make the supervision process more digital, more easy, more efficient, and of course be innovative central bank. In this sense, uh, it is very important to build up the subtext strategy uh, in regards to supervision. Uh, in this sense, we have an experience how to build the subtext strategy, and I will be sharing this topic today. Uh, it is uh, very interesting when the new technology are coming to the market, and as a supervisor, you always have to understand so what are those uh, requirements that are already on the table with the uh, EBA and uh, SEB, and from the other point, you see what are the business requirements that are required by the organizations, and what are the processes should be more, uh, more uh, established in a more prudent way and should be uh, more efficient. Uh, for us, we have uh, concluded five areas we want, where we want to achieve excellency. Of course, it is working with the data, working with the reporting, working with, uh, with the textual information, with the unstructured data, structured data, in order to make the supervision more, more easier and uh, more convenient. Uh, in order to introduce it, we started to think, okay, so how we can start to build a subtech strategy, what should be in the beginning? And of course, we look what are happening on the European environment in, in the European supervision authorities, and we also see what we have internally. And when we have identified the, the, the directions, uh, we put it those, those directions and match those with the real project, and with the real systems, and we have created the subtech strategy plan for five years. Uh, we have prioritized which kind of solution we want to implement at the first and which solution should be at the like secondary priority and priority number three. And it was like uh, the first step for us. And then we also have evaluated, do we want to develop all subtech solution internally as in-house or we want to outsource them? Because it's very crucial to think about internal efficiency, financing and, and budgets. And uh, after that, we started to implement. And then when we had the project list, we matched those projects with the priorities that we set it in the very beginning. Of course, the working with the data and reporting quality, it's, it's, it's a crucial project. But in order to support, uh, support the, the, the subtech, we always sort also from the technological part. So it's not only like business solution, business requirements, but it's also about, okay, there are like plenty of technologies that appears on the market like AI, machine learning, uh, natural language programming, uh, cloud technologies. What exactly should be in, in the supervision? How to work with those technologies? And in order to onboard these technologies in a, in a real life, uh, we have created internal lab and there's also the story I'll be sharing today, how to set up a lab uh, internally and giving the, 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 uh, uh, the background or framework, giving the framework to employees where they can innovate. This is done with uh, several purposes. First of all, we want to set up the ambition level in innovation to become the innovative central bank. And from the uh, other side, it is also how to ensure this cross-border cooperation uh, between the uh, different departments and how to ensure that a technology is not dependent only from uh, IT departments, guys, but it is should be a horizontal function across all organization and all supervisors should be familiar with this and that. Uh, and of course, uh, another target it was to go for the fully digital licensing process, fully digital supervision process, fully digital regulatory process. And to start to work with that, uh, uh, we, we understood that we need a place, actually. We, we need a lab when everyone can assign the idea, come with this idea, create a team, uh, and, and to solve this problem. And what we started, usually when you have a problem, you're starting to, okay, so I have a problem, let's find a solution for the problem. What we did, we did in opposite way. Three years ago, we launched the lab and we started with the technological part. We started, so okay, let's find out. We have like cloud with technologies, which of those technologies will be applicable to this specific situation. And we started to experiment them. As a lab giving the, the possibilities for employees uh, to come for three months, 
period and those three months are divided by three stages. First of all, you need to explore the technology itself, what it gives, what benefits it could give to you exactly, how it works, why, it, why, it, why we need it or we do not need it. The second is to find the business case and the user, user application story. And the number three phase, it is related to, okay, so let's match it together and see, do, can we create the pilot? And we have uh, three teams for the first year uh, the, who were working with a different type of technologies. Uh, we focused at that time on the cloud and BI. And uh, they were very interesting to see how the teams were working. In order to make this process more creative, we onboarded also uh, other experts from the market uh, who were sharing their own experiences with the implementation of such solutions in a similar situations. As they are from the private sector, but not from regulatory part. It was always interesting to see how this cross-industry innovation can work and what can it bring into, into the IDA table. During the last two years, we have uh, successfully launched five projects uh, in, uh, in the cloud technology, in the tax recognition, in, in uh, uh, synthetic data creation, and one of the projects also have been dedicated to the uh, understanding and, and the prevention of the market manipulation in the capital market. Of course, it was very uh, tricky in the very beginning because not all the project could be successful because experimentation actually and innovation, it is not about the result, but it is about the process and how going is a process. And uh, the, if you want to innovate, you will be always focusing is, uh, on innovation as a process. It was very interesting that we have also managed uh, with, uh, with, uh, with our management bodies. We have opened the idea of how it could work. And uh, one of the important issues was to also to, 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 to decrease any type of internal bureaucracy and allow to people to uh, use the time. It was about 10% of the working time to work in innovation. We were thinking, will it work if we will allow people to use the 10% of the working time to working on the project they're interested in? And actually it's worked perfectly. And now we have, in the beginning of the year, you know, Financial Capital Market Commission have been merged with the central bank of uh, Latvia's bank. And now in a new organization, we already started to think about new setup. So how can we go forward? How we can onboard not only subtext strategy, but already working with the data and on, on a new level, a new quality. What kind of values it could bring, innovation could bring for the central bank at all. And now we launched another lab uh, continuously and it is more focused on AI application. And we have uh, several cases. We have AI uh, in the data, uh, in the data areas and application in the data side. And also another AI project is coming into the, with the working with the, with the tax. Uh, so uh, we will see how the teams will be developed. And uh, I think it's very important to see how other NCAs and how other colleagues are working internally with innovation because as we see that financial markets are growing and we see that a lot of fintechs are coming and a lot of new solutions are coming so as we as a regulator we also should be innovative enough not only understand their business models and risk but also we need to be on the same line on the one page and use those technologies for ourselves to make our internal processes more efficient, as uh, even more efficient than business. Mm -hmm.